All right, guys, I love the film. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to talk about your character just a little bit. You're the ideal couple in high school. Yeah. yeah. A lot of pressure, right? Yeah. A lot of pressure. Sure. Yeah, to uphold the title. Be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. We are far, far from, from perfect. Far from is what you learn in the film. Yeah, is that definitely. We're far from perfect, especially so this guy. Tell a little bit about your, your relationship and your character. Um, I, I would say our relationship, yeah, on the outside looks great. Looks yeah. like, you know, everything is perfect. It's like a utopia with these two. But um, we, we definitely have inner issues that, you know, aren't seen. Um, you know, like, they're, they're not really tapped on too much in the film, but you can see that I, you know, start to Yeah, it go, stems from you. Yeah, it, it stems from me, yeah. yeah. I'm the culprit. And then basically, you know, I kind of get involved in a sticky situation with somebody else. You know, she kind of finds out and then uh you know and then she gains this this yeah, you confidence know confidence and, and this independence is just like you know what i don't need this boy anymore he's a little <laughs> boy you know he's not exactly. a man What are you doing? Can a guy ask a girl to prom? I thought you were taking Jordan. It's over. Tyler. I mean, if you want to think about it, you can just bring your answer to school tomorrow. <laughs> right, so. and your character being able to become this independent woman, yeah. you see her kind of growing in the film. Yep. How did you find that? character did it help to be on the set of a high school and seeing other you know i'm sure the students were around while you were filming yeah no. you, you know build your character um i built it from well first off i i consider myself quite independent and confident in this especially in the sense of dealing with the opposite sex so that just derived from myself um, but definitely being around in the high school helped me because in terms of showing my how much I loved you in the film, mm -hmm. that I, I went to a place where, oh, I went back to high school and thought about, it you know, a first real? love. It wasn't real? It was good acting. It wasn't real love? It was brilliant acting. <laughs> she actually just had to just be natural, so it just came across. <laughs> no, but yeah, she but it was fun you. to act, you know, giddy and that kind of stuff, thinking back into high school. <laughs> but when I'm, when I'm over him, that's definitely derived from myself and knowing what's good for a woman. Now, how are your actual proms? Do you have any kind of memorable rememberable moments or anything that just stood out? My prom was pretty lax. I mean, it was lax in the sense of nothing crazy happened. We mm -hmm. did, everything was pretty much traditional, the limo, the photos, the dinner, the dance. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I think that I've been talking about today is that my dress was horrid. Yeah. It was, it, the color of the dress was horrid. Yeah. It was, and we're calling it the Sherbert dress because it was a bunch yeah. of colors that were. And then mine, um, you know, I've, I've touched on this a little bit. Somebody had bubble guts in the limo. Couldn't do anything I love about how you it. you call it bubble guts. Yeah, I mean, it was, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what he had before, but it wasn't good. Okay. That's for sure. Well, so uh, we were stuck right? up in there. Yep, and it wasn't. How wouldn't that I actually sit? remember something else. Some girl tore a strap on her dress, actually, at the dance. And she was just holding her dress like, the entire day. The entire time. No, they, yeah, Try no, to dance. nobody Try had to dance. anything. I was like, "Are you guys serious? You guys don't have a hairpin that you can help her out with?" Yeah. I would have just tore up the other strap. And oh yeah, and done it yeah. strapless. Right. Exactly. Okay, last question. So we're in prom season right now. Any kind of advice that you'd have for some of our viewers that are looking mm -hmm. ways to you know make their prom stand out? Oh. Um. You know, don't try to replicate another prom. Be original, you know, try to think of something that everybody can identify with in your high school. You know, don't just think about yourself in terms of theme for a prom. Um, for guys, I would just say, you know, man up, ask the girl that you want to go with. But for ask uniquely, that would probably be my advice to the guys. Mm -hmm. is I, I like, keep, keep it traditional and ask in a really cute way. I think that's... 
that's I think cute. that's sweet. Go walking up to a girl saying, hey, do you want to go to prom with me? Don't that's do it not like cool. that. But I mean, some guys just, you know, are just natural and they're just like, hey, you know, will you, will you go to prom with me? And okay, that's then all deliver a rose. But some, but, but some guys, you know, go all out, which I think is cute. Yeah. You know, that, that nice would... and classy. You don't have to sky ride it, but. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, classy. yeah, yeah just make it classy. classy. The guy should ask the girl. Basically. Yeah. And don't get, don't let it consume you because it's just. It's meant to have, you're meant to have fun there. Mm -hmm. And that's all that it is. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.